boys and welcome to the huh? Hello? More like, hola, hola. I heard you were doing an episodio Dia de los Muertos. Yes, I am doing an epi on the, on the Day of the Dead Squad. Can I help you? Me llamo Juancito, and they come from Mexico. You come from Mexico? Si, I just want to say, buena suerte, sweet. You, you can, can do it. it! Thanks. Now give me a high five. <laughs> <laughs> well, something boys and welcome to the Dia de la Muerta Squad Builder Episodia, an episode that we do pretty much every year, a full Mexican side. Uh, we didn't do one last year, we did the full Mexican side last year, but that was the Guillermo Ochoa at Strike Rampy. This year we are going to be celebrating Dia de la Muertos. Uh, EA are also celebrating it with a brand new special kit that you can get for winning the daily knockout tournament. Now, the past couple days in Epis, you guys have seen me play pretty horribly in videos and I feel like I need to make up for it. I feel like I need to practice and I feel like I just need to show that I've actually gotten better. Um, which I wouldn't have shown yesterday, but in today's episode, it is all about winning. We're gonna try and go into the daily knockout tournament, win it on the first attempt, but we're gonna be using a player that we're gonna be using in a series that's coming up pretty soon. I don't wanna give anything away, but it rhymes with the Ivory Coast player, Gradle. Okay. We are gonna be kicking things off with the Mexican Bruce Jenner, none other than Luis El Matador Hernandez. You guys know him, you guys love him. We've got the 85 rated card, and for being an 85 rated icon card, he's one of the lower rated ones, but he still has some pretty beast stats. Now the 78 stamina is the first thing that pops out to you and you're thinking to yourself, way that doesn't look too great. And yeah, he can probably run into the 75th, 80th minute and still play on peak performance, but the last 10 minutes he might chug a little bit. We will find out in this episode here. Hopefully only gonna have to play four games in the first attempt, but he does have incredible finishing, 86 finishing. He's got 83 long shots, 81 shot power. More than anything though, he's got the 91 agility, the acceleration, uh, the acceleration and a decent bit of balance in 79 um, and then 85 dribbling and 82 ball control but this is his card we bought him for 583,000 coins like I said we're gonna need this card uh, for what we're gonna be doing on a series that's gonna be coming to the channel really soon high medium work rates 5'9 so it doesn't have a lot of height but that was not what he was known for in his playing days um, 5'9 is not short by any means but uh, has the four-star skill moves three-star weak play. Okay. we've gone ahead and put together what I feel is the best Mexican side in FIFA with the likes of Chicharito as our left striker we've got Marco Fabian as our cam we've got our boy Marco Fabian as our left mid, uh, then we've got Guardado as our defensive midfielder, and then we've even got Giovanni Dos Santos as our right center mid. Ships as a center forward, but decided to play him RCM just because I think we can get away with it. We've got the Mexican Japes as our right back, Aguilar. We've got Hector Moreno. We've got ourselves Reyes. We've got Miguel. Why you always Lion Lion? And of course, we have Guillermo Ochoa in net. By the time you watch this episode, yeah, there will be a Herving Lozano, Herving Chucky Lozano uh, inform card, but I'm recording this in the morning, so I don't have any time to wait for that inform card, but him and Dan are going to be our super subs that we're gonna bring in if anyone gets tired. Uh, we've got Corona chilling over there, and then we've got this Mexican manager Isbiz or Asbiliz, because honestly, the rest of the Mexican managers look like they're on suicide alert. Un tipping de cafe? If you guys are hyped for the Day of the Dead Full Mexico Foot Champions Challenge episodia, smash that like button. Let's try and crush 4,000 likes for this emotional episodia. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. We've got the fitness levels up. We've got our chemistry styles attached to every one of our players that we've gone through and tactically adjusted for each one. I think Sniper on uh, El Matador makes a lot more sense. Hunter would have been easy, but Sniper, I think, will, uh, will obviously increase the dribbling. We've gone ahead and we've already bought the Day of the Dead kit. As you guys can see right here, just an incredible, incredible design. Already one of my favorite kits in the game. Um, and see who we come up against in match number one. Now we're coming up against De La Feo. He's got Aspas, he's got Pedro, uh, he's got Marez. And let me say something really quick. I saw a Reddit thread yesterday, and, and I love Reddit because it's very informative and bring you things, but there's some people that complain about how YouTubers say names. Like there was one guy that was complaining about how the fact that I say like Marco Royce, like Royce is how you say Royce. Like most people would say Royce, but I'm just sort of used to saying Marco Royce. Um, and then, like, De La Feo. I can understand. Like, if you're from some place and you hear someone completely butchering it, and especially if you're a content creator, you would think that, like, maybe you're gonna look into how to say names correctly. And there's plenty of names that I butcher. Chicha! Come on! One nil! Let's go, boys! Chicharito, one nil, and we are up in the 15th minute. Like, 
I, I would go on a four game winning streak and then I would lose like four and then it'd be one one like I'd lose I'd win I'd lose I'd win I'd lose I'd win I feel like the majority of subscribers can probably relate to that but the really good players what they do is they go on like three or four game win streaks they lose one and then they go right back into the three or four game win streak like that is how that's how you consistently hit gold one that is how you like have that is how you realistically hit elite three um every weekend and I for whatever reason I still haven't been able to figure out how to do that Wait, did I just get that win? See, si. this guy keeps backing out because he sees the Day of the Dead kit and he thinks that I've like won. I guess he thinks I've won the tournament already. You can buy it on the market for like two thousand coins. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. I feel like the Day of the Dead kit should be something special that you get for winning the knockout tournament. Do you think the Day of the Dead kit should be available on the market? Which also is a plus if you actually win it, because then instead of, in addition to 2,000 coins, you can also make a few thousand coins off of selling the actual kit, so I get that side of it. Match number two, and we are coming up against a Papu Gomez. He's got another De La Fail, or De La Fail, or De La Fo, or De La Fail. He's got Slippery Sala, he's got Goretzka, he's got Isco, he's got Draxler. That's another one. A lot of people are like, wait, why do you say, why do you say Draxler that weird? <laughs> Marco Fabian top left bro Dude Marco Fabian I'm not kidding I'm not just saying it because he just scored Top 4 top 5 Mexican player in FIFA 18 I would go so far as to say maybe top 3 Luis Hernandez obviously because he's an icon One of his 80 his, One of either his 85 or 87 card But Marco Fabian His team of the season card last year was just insane his stats for the card rating that he has are incredible. Four star, four star, has long shots, has a little bit of everything. Only thing you could ask for is maybe a little bit more pace, but you slap a you slap a hunter or, or hot chemistry style and you're taking care of it. Busca la jugada de pared, no llegó Cuauhtémoc, si llegó Cuauhtémoc, sigue Cuauhtémoc, el matador, el matador, el matador, el matador! Come on, boys! Luis Hernandez! 2 nil in the 20th minute in match number two, and we are freaking rolling along. That's so cool. <laughs> One of my biggest weaknesses this year is just playing in in tight spaces. Like whenever my whenever the opponents in my box like that, I just freeze. Diego Reyes with maybe the defensive play of the game right there. Oh, 2-2. Two, two. Looked like we were maybe going to run away with that thing. 2-0 in the beginning of the first half. But, dude, by the 20th minute, we were up 2-0. And, of course, per usual, we just absolutely collapse. My, my... My, my close proximity play this year is filthy and not in a good way. And we're gonna do expect our patronus. We haven't done that one in a while. Dio de la muerto, Pachanga! Suencito, does, does Pachanga mean anything? No. Frank, you froze my phone with your sausage greasy fingers! Still pressuring Croatia, but not being close to the first. 
Chicharito side. Eagle. <laughs> the sloppiest chip that I've ever seen. And Chicharito makes it 5-3. Match number two, and we are going to win this thing. 90th minute winner. Just a sloppy, sloppy little chip, but it doesn't matter because it goes in and the little P puts us up beyond, uh, beyond a doubt. There you have it, boys. We get our second win, a rage quit in match number one, and then a whopping three goals, a hat trick from El Matador, a goal from Hernandez, and then a goal from Marco Fabian. I think we've got the perfect setup in terms of a Mexican side. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I feel like we've got a pretty good chance to go ahead in this one. Let's get into match number three. Let's see if we can take this squad all the way. Let's see if we can take El Tri all the way. Match number three, he's got Michelle, or me. I'm not exactly sure how to say that one. He's got Yarmolenko, the inform, and he's got Royce. Everybody get wet! <laughs> What is that, dude? What are these matches? Wow. Para penal. Para penal. Esa madre no era penal, no era penal. No era penal. That's so cool. You're awesome. Okay. Even though you lost in the daily knockout tournament, we are giving you the golden piñata for playing valiantly in the champs with a full Mexican fight. El Matador, I don't know what to say. Take my hand. That's so cool. You're <laughs> awesome. Did he just hit you? We didn't manage to get to the final and win the daily knockout tournament with the full Mexican Dia de la Muerto side. Uh, but um, El Matador, aka Luis Hernandez, is 85 rated card. Played very, very well. In fact, Chicharito got better as the tournament went on, but feeling very confident. Again, don't want to give too much away, but uh, the 85 Luis Hernandez card has played very, very well for me. That was the main reason we did the Epi, just to get a little bit of practice in with him with solid uh, with solid servers, which is what the Daily Knockout Tournament gives you. That concludes the Dia de los Muertos, the full Mexican Foot Champions uh, Tournament Challenge episode. Yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Let me know if you guys did win the tournament, which would mean that you also are going into Foot Champs. Let me know if you guys got that kit. In my opinion, that is easily a top five kit right now. The design looks sick. It almost looks like it's glowing. But like I said, boys, that is going to be the epi. If you guys did enjoy, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Till next time, boys. Tschüss. Later. Ade.